In Slavic mythology, three sisters rule the heavens and the destinies of mortals, the Zorayas. These goddesses, daughters of the sun god Daysbog, had the sacred task of guarding the gates of heaven and keeping watch over the terrible dog Simargul, who threatened to devour the constellation Ursa Minor and bring about the end of the world. The first sister was Zoria Utrenyaya, the Aurora. Her mission began when the sun was still hidden below the horizon. Every morning she would open the gates of heaven for the sunlight to spread over the world. The first rays would touch the earth gently, bringing with them the promise of a new day. Animals awoke, flowers opened, and humans left their homes to begin their labors. Everyone depended on the arrival of Zoria Utrenyaya to begin their day. Zoria Utrenyaya was seen as a young woman of great beauty. She had golden hair that shone like the sun. Her presence was so light that many could not see her directly. They felt her arrival in the soft light that illuminated their days. As the day progressed and the sun reached its highest point, Zoria Utrenyaya withdrew. She knew that her work was done and that she must make way for her sister, Zoria Vechernyaya, to do her duty at the end of the day. Zoria Vechernyaya, the goddess of dusk, had a task opposite to that of her sister. In the evening, when the sun began to set, she would appear on the horizon. Her job was to close the gates of heaven, allowing night to spread over the world. Under her gaze, the sky would be tinged with shades of red and orange, bidding farewell to the sun until the next day. Zoraya Vechernyaya was a serene woman. Her presence brought calm, and with it, the worries of the day faded away. People associated her with the peace that comes after a day's work, with the rest that everyone longed for. It was common for villagers to offer prayers in her honor at sunset, thanking her for bringing the day to an end and bringing them the night to rest. Finally, there was the third sister, Zoria Polunochnaya, the Midnight. Her task was perhaps the most difficult, for she ruled the darkest time of the night. Though many slept, she watched over all. In those hours when the darkness was most intense, her vigilance was important. Zoria Polunochnaya was said to have a dark cloak but dotted with small lights, like stars shining in the night. She would make sure the night was not taken over by chaos, keeping everything under control until her sister Zoria Utrenyaya reopened the gates of the sun. Her work was silent, but necessary so that the cycle of day and night would remain in balance. And so, the three Zorias, with their well-defined tasks, protected the world each in their way, but always in synchrony. Thanks to them, day and night followed one another without interruption, and life on Earth continued its course. According to legend, the Zorayas were not only guardians of the sun, but also the constellation Ursa Minor. At the center of this constellation was a powerful demon, chained to the pole star. This evil being longed to devour Ursa Minor, for he believed that if he succeeded, the world would be left in eternal darkness. Simargul, the winged celestial dog, represented a threat, chained to the star Polaris. The Zorias, knowing of this threat, assumed the responsibility of guarding him, ensuring that the chains that held him would never be broken. The story goes that the gods themselves forged the chain that bound Simargul, using a divine material resistant to almost everything except forgetfulness or neglect. The Zorayas took turns watching the celestial dog throughout the day and night, each bringing their unique gifts to the task. Zoria Utrenyaya, the guardian of the dawn, began her shift as the first ray of sunlight touched the horizon. From her position, she watched the skies and the chain that held Samargal, making sure there were no signs of weakening or tension in the links. His connection to the morning light gave him the clarity he needed to detect any anomaly, no matter how small, and thus prevent a disaster before it could take shape. But his work did not end with the coming of day. At sunset, 
Zorya Vechernyaya took over. She would inspect the chain in the golden light of twilight. Her experience allowed her to notice subtle changes, guided by the wisdom that only the passage of time can offer. Although daylight was her ally, Zorya Vechernyaya knew that the true test would come with darkness. It was then that Zorya Polunoknaya, the Midnight Guardian, would assume her place. In the silence of the night when everyone was asleep, her task became more challenging. Shadows could deceive, and the unseen forces that lurked during the night hours required unceasing vigilance. Polunoknaya was prepared to face these forces. Her task was the most arduous, but also the most vital, for the night could hold surprises that neither the sun nor the twilight could foresee. On one occasion, Samargul's chain seemed to weaken. A slight tremor ran through the skies, and the Zorias felt the change. It was not a failure of the chain, but the influence of external forces, invisible to most, but perceptible to them. The sisters acted quickly, reinforcing their vigilance and using their combined powers to strengthen the links before the damage was irreparable. Thanks to their quick response, the danger was averted, and Samargul remained chained. However, the Zorayas knew that the threat never completely disappeared. Every day, every night, they continued their vigilance, aware that any distraction, however brief, could have catastrophic consequences. Thus, the Zorayas maintained the balance of the cosmos, united in their task, protecting the world from a force that could destroy everything if unleashed. However, in Slavic lore, there is a story that tells of a day that could change everything. This day, feared by many and almost forgotten by others, is when it is believed that Samargul, the huge dog chained high in the sky, will finally break free. The chains that keep him bound to the North Star have held fast for centuries thanks to the constant vigilance of the Zorayas, but nothing lasts forever. It is said that when Samargul breaks his chains, the sky will tremble. The stars that have shone for ages could begin to fade, devoured by the fury of the celestial dog. The Zorayas, ever alert to this danger, have spoken among themselves about this day, though they never show fear. They know that they must act, not fear. At that moment, the three sisters must join forces in a way they have never done before. Each of them has a role in the daily cycle of the world, but the day of darkness will require something more, something that even they cannot fully foresee. There is no guarantee of success, but their purpose is clear, to try to stop Simargo before he can cause irreversible damage. On this dreaded day when everything could change, the Zorias will be there, doing their duty as they always have. No promises, no guarantees, but with the same security with which they have always watched over the sky. And while Samargul fights for her freedom, they will be ready, doing what they do best, protecting the balance of the universe. Thank you for joining us once again in a new adventure. See you next time.